All right, so we're going to start by telling you the a chapter in a, a climactic chapter in a novel. So I'm going to get a genre and a title for the novel, and they're going to together tell you a story. I'm going to go back and forth between all of them as they tell you the story. Now, as I go back and forth, it should be seamless. So if somewhere in the story I go to them and they repeat what was said before, or if they hesitate, or if it just sounds like it's going to a completely another planet, I want you, as a group, to yell, DIE! <laughs> as I just said, like with encouragement and applause, but DIE! Uh, at that point, that player will create a death scene and leave the story, and the continuing storytellers will tell the story. Okay? So remember, don't do it just because, like, yay, die, fun. Um, it's only if they like, hesitate or don't oh. catch on exactly where they left off, or it just goes really out to left field. Okay, uh, so for now I need a genre, a western, those famous western novels that we read so much. And apparently we have a suggestion. It's called Noodles and Strings. So this is a climactic chapter. A lot of stuff is happening, and we'll see what's happening in Noodles and Strings. Give them a hand, please. In this famous spaghetti western, Noodles and Strings, the pasta was delicious. Homer dug into his plate with a fork and his six-gun in his other hand. And he twirled the spaghetti around his fork and he shoved it in his mouth as he watched Dale walk through the saloon doors. Dale was his arch nemesis. For Dale made the best lasagna in the small town of Long Beach. And he could not stand the fact that his lasagna was not the best in town. <laughs> While moving the spaghetti around, a note on the bottom of the plate read, this will be your last spaghetti dinner. <laughs> because lasagna guy's coming in. He's taking over. He's the best lasagna in Long Beach, and he's going to spread corporate-wide, worldwide. So then, therefore, he went and put his guitar case down and opened it up, and out came all of the string. He thought he'd pack the string in tight enough so that it wouldn't explode, but as soon as he opened it up, it fell out all over the lasagna. <laughs> Dale couldn't believe it. He grabbed the string and tried stuffing them in his pockets and got proud of the songs. That he was pulling out. Die! <laughs> All right, he was pulling out uh, <laughs> from his pocket so that he could wrap them around his fingers so that he could stop forgetting everything that he needed to remember to make the best spaghetti sauce. <laughs> <and more. laughs> he got the recipe from his mother back in Italy, where she came from, the southern, the southern tip. And just then, he pulled out a uh, pen and started to write down the recipe. Because he knew that he'd forget it, hence why he was forgetting everything else that was spinning around his head. <laughs> so he wrote down the recipe and he thought, He thought, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. my gosh. Oh. No! No! Still <laughs> done. <laughs> off his finger, and he put him in the boiling water in the pot. At this point, Ralph realized that this was really bullshit. <laughs> and so he chased down Dale in the kitchen, and he pulled out his six gun and aimed it at him, and told him that if he didn't play nice, he was going to put six bullets in the missiles on him. <laughs> and that was very good. This is a good Italian restaurant. You gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, six cup in his lasagna. Dale just had had enough and he challenged Ralph to a duel, so they drew 
on each other and got pasta all over. And it was a real mess. And then they... Town to grab a drink at the local saloon where all the pasta makers hang out afterwards. <laughs> they we're all there. Louis, Johnny, uh, Fred, Tutong, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering when they would make the next around their various forks and using the spoon thing like real Italians do, you know? And then they would shove macaroni up their nose. Just for fun because it was Saturday night. Yeah. 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 Tell us one word at a time what the moral of this story is. Never let Ralph eat his spaghetti with you. Okay. <laughs>